Hello everybody, this is Junebug coming at you again. Um, this is going to be a little combo lecture or combo tutorial of comparative advantage, absolute advantage, and a little bit of the PPF, right? So let's look at this economy A or economy B, or if it helps you, factory A, factory B, okay? I like to look at it as factory A, factory B as opposed to economy. So let's say economy A if they choose to specialize in desktops so when you hear the word specialize don't get confused uh, specialize means to do something 100 percent in economic terms so that means I make no laptops so at zero laptops they can make 10 desktops okay that's all it means when they say specialize okay it's a fancy way of saying if x equals 0 or if y equals 0 okay so then and if they specialize in laptops right eight laptops can be made and here economy B or think of it as a factory the maximum that can be made or if they specialize in desktops eight can be made and specialize in laptops four laptops can be made so since 10 is greater than 8, economy A has the absolute advantage. Okay, Remember, absolute advantage, comparative advantage are two different things. Okay, Now here, also the maximum that can be produced is 8, and here the maximum that can be produced is 4. So since 8 is greater than 4, economy A also has a an absolute advantage in the production of laptops so in other words economy A has a absolute advantage in both the production of the desktop and the laptop okay because 10 is greater than 8 8 is greater than 4 but to make 10 desktops in econ A they have to give up making 8 laptops okay so now, in order to get the comparative advantage, we have to understand who has a lower opportunity cost. So what does opportunity cost mean? Okay, opportunity cost is what do you give up to get a benefit. So in other words, in order for me to make um, 10 desktops, I have to give up 8 laptops, right? So in the case of desktop, the opportunity cost will be 10 divided by 8 or y over x or, or x over y so so in other words since I'm giving up uh, 8 laptops to make 10 computers right so that's 8 over 10 that's I'm giving up, I'm giving up 8 tenths of a laptop or 4 fifths of a laptop to create one desktop and in the case here right to make eight desktops I'm giving up four laptops so four divided by eight so that's gonna be what half a laptop to produce one extra desktop now let's look at the easier way of doing this okay I created an Excel chart to break this down um, I got the idea from another guy on YouTube which I'm gonna post his um, link on the show notes to give him credit also Let's look at this. So ec economy A, economy B. So I like to put that in column A. And computers, which is Y on the Y axis, I like to put it together, 10 over 8, 10 and 8, right? Then the laptop. Right, for economy A, they can produce max of 8, B, 4, right? So in order to determine the um, opportunity cost, we talked about this, right? So eight laptops, you give up eight laptops to produce ten computers. Okay? So if you divide that, the opportunity cost is 0 0.8. Okay? And same concept here, right? Remember we talked about it? We give up four laptops to produce one computer or desktop. So four divided by eight is 0 0.5. So in other words, who has a comparative advantage here? Well, I'll show you. Okay, let me pick a color here. Oops, let's undo that. 
Okay, they have the comparative advantage since um, one half is less than 0 0.8. So because they're giving up less laptops to produce one extra desktop, that means the opportunity cost is lower. Okay, but let's look at the laptops. Okay, um, in order to produce one four laptops, they have to give up eight computers, right? So eight computers to make uh, four computers, eight divided by four, the opportunity cost is two. Whereas here, to create eight laptops, you have to give up 10 computers. So 10 divided by eight, the opportunity cost is 1.25. So since the opportunity cost to produce one extra laptop is lesser here, let me highlight that with a different color. Oops. Eesh. Okay. Okay. So since 2 is less than 1.25, they have the comparative advantage. Okay. So we'll talk about specialization and trade on the next video I, I put up. Okay. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you understand. And if you want this um, Excel spreadsheet, please send me an email or leave a comment on the video okay so just remember the crisscross method when you do this okay this goes on top here and this goes on top on this side okay zigzag okay hope you enjoyed um, I hope this was helpful happy studying y'all